The ritual of the state opening of Parliament still illustrates the basis of the British Constitution. The sovereignty of the royal family has passed to the sovereignty of Parliament, leaving the monarchy with the trappings of power, while prime ministers are still denied the kind of status that is given to American and French presidents. Most peasants remain self-sufficient and skeptical about money, and with good reason, the triumph of capitalism probably made them worse off. They now had to deal with a centralized imperial state that was collecting tax more efficiently, giving more power to landlords, and slowly reducing customary peasant rights to land and produce. Another method governments use to try and influence the private sector is economic planning. For a long time now, socialist and communist states have used planning as an alternative to the price mechanism, organizing production, and distributing their resources according to the social and strategic needs, rather than based on purely economic considerations.
Most succulent plants are found in regions where there is little rainfall, dry air, plenty of sunshine, porous soils and high temperatures during part of the year. These conditions have caused changes in plant structures, which have resulted in greatly increased thickness of stems, leaves and sometimes roots, enabling them to store moisture from the infrequent rains. Line engraving on metal, which, to a great extent, was a development of the goldsmith's craft of ornamenting armor and precious metals, did not emerge as a printmaking technique until well into the 15th century. Copper, the metal mainly used for engraving, was expensive, and engraving itself was laborious and took a long time. For the first two or three years after the Second World War, a new title would often sell out within a few months of publication. However, unless public demand for the book was unusually high, they were rarely able to reprint it, with paper stock strictly rationed. They could not afford to use up precious paper or tie up their limited capital with a reprint.
The Atlantic coast of the peninsula can be thought of as the cold side, and the sea on this coast tends to be clear and cold, with a variety of seaweeds growing along the rocky shoreline. On a hot day, however, this cold water can be very refreshing and is said to be just hospitable to sharks, which prefer warmer waters. All the works of art shown in this exhibition were purchased on a shoestring budget. The criteria that the curators had to follow were that works must be accurate cheaply, appeal to a broad range of tastes, and fit with unusual environments. Thus, many of our better known modern artists are not represented. Foam-filled furniture is very dangerous if it catches fire, and foam quickly produces a high temperature, thick smoke, and poisonous gases, including carbon monoxide. Therefore, set levels of fire resistance have been established for new and second-hand upholstered furniture and other similar products.
The starting point of Bergson's theory is the experience of time and motion. Time is the reality we experience most directly, but this doesn't mean that we can capture this experience mentally. The past is gone and the future is yet to come. The only reality is the present, which is real through our experience. It is important to note that saving is not the same as investment. Saving is about cash, while investment is about real product. The difference is important because money, being liquid, can leak out of the economic system, which it does when someone who is putting aside unspent income keeps it under the mattress. Historically, the low level of political autonomy of the cities in China is partly a result of the early development of the state bureaucracy. The bureaucrats played a major role in the growth of urbanization, but were also able to control its subsequent development and they never completely gave up this control.
Writers may make the mistake of making all their sentences too compact. Some have made this accusation against the prose of Gibbon. An occasional loose sentence prevents the style from becoming too formal and allows the reader to relax slightly. Loose sentences are common in easy, unforced writing, but it is a fault when there are too many of them. There is a long history of rulers and governments trying to legislate on men's hair, both the length of the hair on their heads and the style of facial hair. For practical reasons, Alexander the Great insisted his soldiers be clean-shaven, but Peter the Great of Russia went further, insisting no Russians had beards. Early in the 19th century, Wordsworth opposed the coming of the steam train to the Lake District, saying it would destroy its natural character. Meanwhile, Blake denounced the dark satanic mills of the Industrial Revolution. The conservation of the natural environment, however, did not become a major theme in politics until quite recently.
In the distribution of wealth, America is more unequal than most European countries. The richest tenth of the population earns nearly six times more than the poorest tenth. In Germany and France, the ratio is just over three to one. The United States also has the largest proportion of its people in long-term poverty. Chaucer was probably the first English writer to see the English nation as a unity. This is the reason for his great appeal to his contemporaries. A long war with France had produced a wave of patriotism, with people no longer seeing each other as Saxon or Norman, but as English. What can history tell us about contemporary society? Generally, in the past, even in Europe until the 18th century, it was assumed that it could tell how any society should work. The past was the model for the present and the future. It represented the key to the genetic code by which each generation produced its successors and ordered their relationships.